This is going to change the game. And shame on you for anybody that says FL Studio 25 is underwhelming. Shame. Shame on you. So FL Studio 25 keeps getting better and better. And a lot of people are talking about how this was an underwhelming thing. And I've been saying, just wait. I have a feeling they're working on something bigger. And just so happens today, I open up the forum page for the FL Studio 25 beta. And what do you know? We have a major update. FL Studio 25 now has an AI model called Gopher. Gopher is a large language model based on the manual and knowledge base. It's in the communications panel. I'll show you where that is exactly in a second if you're not familiar with it. But now you have news downloads notifications help and gopher so this is what gopher looks like right here here's a little bit more information on it before we hop into it gopher was named because it goes for information and the name plays on the idea gopher note as an ai model gopher can give you incorrect answers and so make sure to thumbs down these and let us know what went wrong using integrated feedback so just like any other ai model it can get things wrong but you're going to have to fact check some things before it really trains and learns about people's feedback that we give it and if we open up the new FL Studio 25 beta version 3. If you click on this little online panel up here, this communications panel, you now see we have news, downloads, notifications, help, and gopher. Here's something else that I didn't know either. You can pin this so that way it doesn't close when you click out of here. It always stays open. So we have a dark mode and a light mode. Let's ask it a question. Let's see. What's the best plugin for compression on vocals? All right. For vocal compression at NFL Studio, here are some excellent plugin options. The Fruity Limiter, Fruity Compressor, or Maximus. Let's do this. It's still going. Okay, it's still going. Multiband Compressor. And it gives you the references of where it got this information from, most likely the manual, as explained previously in the in the forum page. For most vocal compression tasks, Fruity Limiter or Maximus are excellent starting points, depending on the level of control and complexity you need. Maybe say, out of these options, which would be the best for rap vocals? For rap vocals, Maximus is likely the best choice due to its advanced features and flexibility. Here's why. This is awesome, bro. What? We just got leveled up big, big, big time, yo. This is crazy. This is going to get really crazy real fast. Maximus, it offers multiband compression, which allows you to control the dynamics of different frequency ranges independently. Particularly useful for rap vocals, as you can emphasize clarity in the mid-range where the voice typically sits. While controlling low-end rumble or harsh frequencies, it also provides precise control for both subtle and aggressive compression making it ideal for the dynamic nature of rap vocals. Learn more about Maximus here. Fruity Limiter. Bro, this is nuts. While Fruity Compressor and Fruity Multiband Compressor are good options, they lack... See, this tells you why it didn't choose the other ones. They lack the depth and versatility of Maximus for rap vocals. Maximus is particularly suited for achieving a, a polished professional sound, which is often desired in rap production. Let's ask it more. What is the shortcut for sending tracks to the mixer from the channel rack. Let's see what Gopher says. Here we go. Ah, see? This is something that I know, so I'm kind of like testing it out to see how accurate the answers are. And again, I know, just like in FL Studio, there's multiple ways to do the same thing, and it gives you slight variations of it right here. So this is really accurate already. The shortcuts for sending tracks to the mixer from the channel rack are Control L, and control shift L. These shortcuts make it quick and efficient to route your channels to the mixer for further processing. Fire. What is the ideal arrangement for a trap beat? I got some spelling wrong, but <laughs> hopefully go for nose. Okay, look at this. Hey, all right. Bro, this is intro four to eight bars, often minimal, just a melody pad. Wow, it gets super in depth with the answers. This is crazy, bro. Wow, this is insane. Damn. So in my opinion, like if, if you're going to chat GPT or any of these other AI programs and AI apps online, why <laughs> at this point now, why Gopher is now going to give you super relatable answers based on music production because it's FL studio using its manual and other music production references to get these answers. Verse eight to 16 bars, introduce main drum pattern, kick snare, hi-hat, keep the melody consistent, bridge breakdown, optional. This <laughs> Crazy. Chorus drop, 1860 bars, outro. Additional tips for trap arrangement. Transitions. Use risers, impacts, and reverse effects to smooth transitions between sections. Automation. Automate filters, volume. Wow, bro. 
The structure is flexible and can be adjusted depending on the artist's style or the vibe you're aiming for. I'm definitely going to give these thumbs up. Great responses. I go up and thumbs up these because these are good too. Boom. You can copy and paste it. And if you want to clear this whole thing out, you can hit new chat. Confirm. I'm not sure if it saves your history yet. I'm sure it will at some point, like a lot of these other AI models. You can go through your history if you forgot a question that you've asked before. Again, this is the first time I'm seeing it. I believe this just dropped today. This is April 11th. So I'm sure there's going to be tons of upgrades here as we go along, even before the full version of FL Studio 25 drops. So I'm sure there's going to be a history section. Let's try a different prompt. Help me choose samples for a smooth R and B beat with a trap feel this is fire and i'm sure this kind of stuff is going to progress as time goes on too imagine the possibilities now with something like this in fl studio the potential is massive here wow look at the answer that it's giving me in depth all these to create smooth rmb with a trap feel you'll want to focus on selecting samples that blend lush soulful textures with hard-hitting modern trap elements here are some suggestions for the types of samples to use and where to find them in FL Studio. Kicks, snares and claps, hi-hats. I mean, you could pause and read this stuff. It's really in-depth and really, really good. Look at this. They're giving you options right here. Melodic elements, chords. Look for warm, jazzy, soulful chord progressions. You can use FL Studio's Flex plugin for this. Cinematic soul. Hey, let's go. Chill lo-fi. It's giving you patches and plugins to use. Obviously, it's going to give you stock, but yo, I mean, I use 98% stock plugins, so this is perfect for me. Pads, use Flex or Citrus. Wow, it's giving you plugin suggestions. What about vocal chops? Vocal chops are a staple in both R&B and trap. Use a plugin like SliceX to chop and manipulate vocal samples. You can also explore flex packs like the Goodie Bag, MSX Audio, getting major plugs in here. Super in-depth answers, yo. The one thing so far is just I wish you'd be able to save your prompts here. I'm sure that's coming. Where to find samples in FL Studio. You can explore these. and Wow, it's going to link you right to them. Okay, that's fire. Then you can go through here. I'm sure at some point what's going to happen is you can be able to click in here and it might open up something in FL Studio. Say, create an arrangement for me and maybe you can click the arrangement and it just gives you the arrangement for that. I'm sure, I mean, I'm looking into the future here, but I'm sure we've been talking about this for a while. Me and John on the podcast have literally discussed this exact topic. I can't remember what episode it was, but we were literally talking about this exact thing maybe close to a year ago. So this has probably been in the works for a really long time too. I can imagine how long it's going to take to get something like this up and running. Probably, it's probably been a few years in the works. Just like any other AI software, you could say, you know, rewrite this. Or what if we told it to write me a chord progression that I can use in a beat like this? Let's see. No way, bro. Let's go. Wow. Popular R&B trap chord progressions. Get out of here, dude. Wow, bro. This is crazy. Use the chord progression tool in NFL. It's giving you some chords right here to go with and just mess around with. This is an actual chord progression. Just copy these chord progressions in here. Or you can go down here and, like it says, use the chord progression tool. This is the chord generation tool that, if you haven't messed with it, amazing. Go to piano roll. Alt P. Yep. Alt P. That's the chord progression tool right there. Insane. And it gives you tips on R&B and trap progressions. Use extended chords like seventh, ninths, or eleventh. Experiment with inversions. This is out of control. This is going to change the game. It's literally going to change the game. And shame on you for anybody that says FL Studio 25 is underwhelming. Shame. Shame on you. So that's going to do it. I'm going to leave a link down below for the new version of FL Studio 25 Beta 3 so you can try out Gopher for yourself. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Are you going to be utilizing this feature a lot within your sessions? Let me know in the comments and share this with a friend if you get me.